Hey, and welcome to my demonstration of DEX 3.10. This is the newest release of our top DJ mixing software for mixing all types of media, audio, music videos, uh, and hosting karaoke. And it's that last bit that we're focusing on here with this 3.10 release. It's the first release in a planned schedule of releases that will include various new improvements to karaoke support. The goal here, of course, is making sure that DEX3 is the best solution for all those different things as a true all-in-one entertainment software solution. So what you're going to see here, and I'm going to demonstrate these new features today, uh, both the new singer rotation list, which is independent of the normal side list, aka auto mix list, as well as singer song history. There are a few other new features in this version. Uh, they'll be listed on the website, of course. Uh, we put up a blog post today, in fact, that lists all the new updates and changes in 3.10. Uh, but today we're going to demonstrate the two new uh, karaoke-specific features we know guys are going to love based on all the requests we've received, especially since we integrated the Party Time Karaoke subscription. We've had a major influx of new users purchasing Dex3 for the sole purpose of hosting karaoke professionally, and they've all been asking for these same things. So we're very happy to introduce the brand new singer rotation list, uh, as well as singer song history, which is really just the start uh, of what's to come. So here we go. On the right hand side, in your normal singer rotation list area, uh, here on the right, this is typically for your auto mix list or your side list for lining up a series of songs for either complete automation auto mix or for manual mixing. It's kind of your real time song queue, uh, you have some new icons you'll see now. Right above that area, you've got this little list icon, and when that's pressed, when that toggle is toggled on, you're looking at your standard side list, aka auto, auto mix list. You have a new little mic icon next to it. When you click that, it's going to toggle to the singer's rotation list. So now that we're in there, we'll grab a couple of songs. Actually, uh, it works the same way as when you're adding songs to the regular side list. You can double click the track that you want to sing. It's going to come up with the prompt to put in the singer's name. Now, one thing we, you'll already notice right away is if you've had a singer prior, it will auto complete their name as you start typing it. So there I am, Ryan. I started typing the R and I popped up. So I can just hit OK. And now you see that I am now in the singer's list. It's got my name, it shows the song in my queue. It shows me that I have one song in my queue over here. I'm going to, for demonstration purposes, add a couple more songs to my queue. Because you'll often have a singer come up to you and request more than one song to sing at once. Uh, so you can put as many songs into their personal singer queue as you want right away. So I'll drag another song. And if you drag and drop a song from a list or search results, you can drag it right on top of the singer's name and drop it. And as soon as you do, you'll see that it automatically highlights the singer. Just hit OK, and it goes into my queue. So now you see that I'm Ryan, the two songs I plan to sing, and it indicates two songs in my queue over here. So I'll go ahead and put one more song. And you'll see I have three songs in my queue. So now that I see those, I don't, you know, it's taking up a bit of space, so you can compress it so you don't have to see all three songs in my queue. I can just press this little toggle right here. This next to the three songs is a little down arrow. If you just click that, you'll see that it compresses it. There's only one entry into the singers list, uh, and it indicates I have three songs in my personal queue. So we'll go ahead and add another singer. We'll double click it. Oh, I double click very quickly, and we'll put in Anna. So Anna's now in the rotation list. So I can drag to their name, hit OK. I can double click, type in Anna. That's another way to do it. Hit OK. And you'll see it goes into Anna's personal queue. She has three songs as well. So I'll compress this because I, I know how many songs are in their queue. Well, actually, let me show you this real quick. We'll demonstrate this first. So say I choose not to sing Sia first. Well, without, well beyond my vocal range anyway. And we'll move up a song below it up. So you can do that with these little arrows. You see you have an arrow up, an arrow down, and an X. What these do is the arrow up will move the song you've selected up in the queue. The arrow down will move it down. The X will remove the song from the queue. So we'll move this song up. 
and you see it moves to the top. And I'll go ahead and X out of Sia because I'm not going to sing that song. I'm just going to sing these two songs. So there you go. you got my two songs in my queue. I'm ready to go. I can press this. And now all I've got to do is hit this new button here. This will always load the top track to deck A. That's how we have it configured currently, which is nice because it frees up deck B for filler music purposes for now until we have another way to manage that. So now I'm just going to demonstrate the load next singer function. It's one button. It loads and plays the top track. So it both loads and plays the song uh, for just ease of use purposes. So we'll click load next singer, load singer. It'll load and it'll start playing. And that's it. And now you'll see, I don't know if you noticed that, something I should have said, after 20 seconds of playback, it moves Ryan to the bottom of rotation. We chose to do it on a 20 second uh, timer because there's times when you're hosting karaoke uh, where you've loaded the song, it starts to playing, and the singer may say, ah, it's not the one I want to sing. Please play the other song. Well, since you already have, you're already at the top of rotation, all you have to do is rearrange the songs in the queue or delete the one that was up front and you can hit load next singer and quickly load the singer again without having to move them to the top of rotation or manually load them which is convenient so i'll demonstrate that one more time we'll just stop this deck we'll take this and we'll hit load next singer one more time so Anne is at the top of rotation right so we're going to click load singer and it's going to load and start playing these songs haven't previously been analyzed that's why you're seeing it build the waveform of course if you previously analyzed your songs or played them prior they will load instantly you'll you won't have to wait for the waveform to build so now watch in the singers list when we hit the 20 second marker watch what happens over here there goes anna to the bottom of rotation so that's really all there is to it i mean it doesn't matter how many singers you have in rotation it'll manage them nice and, and easily you can toggle and see what songs are in their queue very easily. Now, say you want to uh, access singer history. Say you're starting a new show. You know, Ryan comes back up and says, you know, why don't you throw some songs from last week back in rotation? So you access the normal history list in Dex 3. The history will, will be kind of a running log of everything you play through the application, whether it's audio, video, and karaoke. But there is one fundamental difference when songs go into history from the singers list. I'll scroll to the bottom of my history list, and as you see, you'll see the singer's names appear next to the songs that were loaded and played. To search for a singer right now, you type in singer, semicolon, their name. So those are the two songs in my history that I played. So once you've accessed the song in history, you'll see it. That's one of the last songs. I'm gonna throw this back into rotation. Of course, I'm already in rotation, so I can just drag and drop onto my name, hit OK. You'll see it indicates three songs are in my queue, and there it is. Of course, if I wasn't in rotation, and you can pull a whole person out of rotation very easily, uh, I should mention, you can just click on their name in the, in the singers list, hit the delete key in your keyboard, and they'll instantly be removed. Uh, that doesn't remove them from history, of course, so they'll still remain in history. So now I want to go back into rotation from history. I can just double click the name, type in my name again, Hit it in there, and there we go. Or I could just drag and drop into rotation as well. And that's it. So it's really that simple. Now we're really building on these karaoke features by popular demand. So keep checking back. Keep checking the blog. Check the YouTube channel for new videos. If you guys have any questions about what was covered in this video or maybe even what's to come, feel free to leave them in the comments section below.